Xpeng unveiled a shockingly lifelike humanoid robot wrapped in flexible synthetic skin, built with a biomimetic spine and muscle system, a curved display in its head, and customizable design options that even include different body types and colors. Unertree introduced its new G1 embodied avatar, a robot that mirrors human motion in real time and learns everyday tasks like cleaning, organizing, and even handling objects with human level precision. And that viral robot kidnapping story from last year, where a bot led 12 others out of a showroom, just got new evidence confirming parts of it were actually real. Now let's start with the biggest one, because Xpeng's new humanoid is unlike anything we've seen before. The same company known for electric cars and flying vehicles is now doubling down on humanoid robots. During their AI day in Guangzhou, they unveiled the newest generation of their iron humanoid, and this one's completely different from what anyone expected. So, Xpen calls this the eighth generation of their robotics program, and the third with a humanoid design. They're aiming for mass production by late 2026, and this model feels like a direct statement to the rest of the industry. Instead of the usual industrial or mechanical look, Xpeng's robot has a full body, synthetic skin, customizable body types, and even options for hairstyles and clothing. Seriously, users will be able to pick from body types like athletic, chubby, tall, or short, choose different hair designs, and later even change its wardrobe. The company says the synthetic skin makes it feel warmer and more intimate, clearly trying to move beyond the cold metallic stereotype of robots. But that's not all. The robot has a biomimetic spine and muscle system that mimics human motion. You can see the way it bends and twists almost like a real person. Inside the head, there's a 3D curved display built into the face, giving it more expressive capabilities. Its shoulders move like human joints, and each hand comes with 22 degrees of freedom, which means it can handle delicate tasks like picking up small objects or gesturing naturally. Xpeng loaded it with serious computing power too, three Turing AI chips that deliver a total of 2,250 tops. For context, that's the same class of power found in their autonomous cars. So it's no surprise that the robot runs on Xpeng's own VLT, VLA, and VLM systems. Those stand for Vision Language Transformer, Vision Language Action, and Vision Language Model. Basically, a full-stack AI architecture that allows the robot to see, interpret, and act in real time. So it's not just following pre-coded commands, it's processing the world visually and linguistically while it moves. And here's something interesting. Xpeng's not going after the same use cases as companies like 1X or Figure. CEO He Xiaopeng said straight up that humanoids aren't actually great for factory work or repetitive tasks. Instead, Xpeng wants its robot to work in social spaces as a receptionist, tour guide, or shopping assistant. In fact, the previous generation of this robot was already giving tours at Xpeng's headquarters, speaking in a perfect American accent while walking visitors through the building. This next version, though, will take over those roles completely. The company's plan is to deploy the new iron robots in showrooms, museums, and shopping centers where they'll interact directly with people. There's also a partnership with Beosteel, one of China's biggest steel producers, where the robots will perform inspections and other real-world trials. So, Xpeng's clearly thinking beyond labs and show floors, they want this thing working out in public. And they're not doing it halfway, either. The robot will be powered by a solid-state battery, something we rarely see in humanoids, which makes it lighter and longer-lasting than lithium packs. Hezia Peng described their approach as fusion and invention. In his words, cars require integration and invention, but robotics requires fusion, meaning the software and hardware have to evolve together. He said a robot's hardware must literally be designed around its AI brain for it to work properly, which is why Xpeng insists on doing everything in-house. Full stack development from chips to algorithms ensures that when mass production starts, the robot won't just move, it'll move intelligently. There's also a safety and ethics angle baked in. The CEO mentioned that the robot follows Isaac Asimov's three universal laws of robotics. And then they added a fourth. It can't disclose its owner's data. It's an interesting line to draw, especially when competitors like 1X are asking customers to give them full access to their homes so their robots can learn. Xpen's clearly taking a different stance, keeping data privacy front and center, while making the robot more personal, almost companion-like. 
Now, while the robot looks impressive, not everyone's buying the idea. Critics say X-Pen might be solving a problem that doesn't exist, questioning the need for such a human-like machine that comes with so many customization options. The company hasn't released a price yet, but with that kind of tech, Three high-end AI chips, solid-state batteries, and all that articulation, it's not going to be cheap. Still, the combination of personality, design, and in-house AI could set XPeng apart from the usual utility-focused robotics we've seen so far. And let's be real, that walking demo at AI Day, even though it ended with a slightly awkward dance to Taylor Swift's The Fate of the Ophelia, definitely got people talking. Some even asked if there was a real person inside it. So while the world debates whether we need humanoids with synthetic skin and customizable body shapes, Xpeng's already moving ahead, building one of the most ambitious full-stack robots in China and maybe the world. Meanwhile, another Chinese company, Unitree, is heading in a completely different direction with what they call the embodied avatar. Their latest demo honestly blew up online. It starts off like a typical robot video. A Unitree G1 kicks a soccer ball, nothing crazy. But then you realize it's not running on pre-coded routines. There's a human wearing a motion suit and the robot is mirroring his every movement in real time. The operator swings a staff in martial arts moves and the G1 mirrors it perfectly and then they push it further. Two teleoperators, each controlling their own G1, step into what's basically a robot sparring match, throwing punches. It looks like the future of human-robot connection, and people online immediately picked up on the potential. Some joked, this is how you'll skip the gym, send your robot to train for you. Others called it the birth of embodied robot combat. But the real innovation comes next. In the next scene, there's a note on the screen that says real-time learning full body movements from videos and the robot shifts from teleoperation to true embodied learning. Clips show the G1 in a home environment. It's quietly moving around an apartment, cleaning up, wiping counters, taking out the trash, even fluffing a pillow and placing a Coke in the fridge. These movements aren't clunky or robotic anymore. They're smooth, intentional, and clearly learned from human teleoperation data. Every action refines its motor control. The more people operate G1 units, the more data they collect. Real human dexterity captured and turned into machine learning fuel. Unitree calls this a full body teleoperation and data acquisition platform, but what it really is, is a long-term strategy. They're teaching the robot to move like us, so one day it won't need us to move at all. That's the big difference between what Unitree's doing and what Xpeng is doing. Xpeng wants emotionally intelligent, human-like service robots. Unitree's training mechanical avatars, machines that learn our motion directly, whether it's for home, work, combat training, or even remote labor. It's one of those projects that feels like the groundwork for something much larger. Now, speaking of Chinese humanoids, that old robot kidnapping story just took a new turn. Remember the viral clip from last year? The small robot named Urbe that supposedly led 12 others out of a showroom while saying, go home? Well, new info from Chinese sources finally confirmed parts of it were real. Turns out the robot itself actually exists, developed years ago as an intelligent companion prototype for a woman named Highway who still posts videos of it on Douyin. She'd been showing Urbai interacting with pets and talking for years before that clip went viral. Investigators now trace the footage back to a real showroom belonging to Kamenchi Robotics, whose small humanoids match the ones seen in the video. So yes, the kidnapping scene was likely staged, but the robots, the place, and the tech were all real, which makes the whole thing even stranger. What once looked like a joke now feels like a glimpse into how lifelike and unpredictable these machines are actually becoming. One question, how far do you think this goes before humans lose control? Leave your thoughts below, subscribe if you haven't already, and like the video to support the channel. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next one.